back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. We're back for another episode of Vlogmas. So glad to have you here. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can record yourself by yourself in the gym if you're trying to record some workout videos for your Instagram, if you're trying to record them just for fun, whatever your reason is, if you're trying to record yourself in the gym, I got you. Not all of us are lucky enough to have a gym buddy to record our workouts for us. Some of us are our own gym buddies. And so we have to figure out creative ways to record ourselves. But don't worry, because I'm gonna share all the tips and tricks that I use to record myself in the gym and it's gonna be great, it's gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine, I'm gonna be fine, We're all. everyone's gonna be fine. I'm gonna let you know the tripod I use, the camera I use, my tips on how to build confidence. So, first things first, I get this question asked a lot, and that is, how do you build up the confidence to record in the gym? How do you not feel awkward? To be brutally honest with you, you're just gonna have to rip the band-aid off. But we can do it together. I'll help you rip the band-aid off. The very first time that I tried to film in a gym, I was super scared. I would just rip my tripod out of my backpack with my phone in it, and I'd try to record really quick. I'd do my set super fast, and then I'd throw my tripod and my phone back in my bag because I was so nervous that people were judging me or people were looking at me. One thing, if you're super nervous about starting to record, you can always hide your tripod in your bag until you get more comfortable. I used to do that. I would set up my tripod in my bag with my camera, kind of zip it up a bit, and then, you know, you couldn't really see the camera in there. But steps we're dipping our toes in we'll work our way up to wrapping our tripods around poles and things like that later <laughs> another confidence tip that I have for you is to plan your entire workout or at least plan the portion that you want to record before you get to the gym so for me I plan it out at home and then I write it out in my phone that way when I get to the gym I know exactly what I'm gonna do and I don't have to wander around and kind of wonder what I'm gonna do next definitely one way to ease the awkward tension when you're trying to film yourself in the gym what I do is I just don't look around because if I look around and I see people seeing me set up my camera and do this then I get anxious and I get nervous and I'm like oh no what are they thinking about me but if I don't look if I don't look at anyone then I don't know that they're thinking anything and I don't know that anyone's even looking at me I can't see anyone all I see is my camera and what I'm trying to accomplish really what's just gonna help with this is repetition the more you do it the more comfortable you're gonna be with it even if you don't feel confident if you act confident and kind of show like I'm just doing my thing here then no one's gonna look at you they're gonna be like oh she's just over there living her life let me just go over here and live my own life and mind my own business and another part of it is just thinking about what are you gaining what are you trying to do with these videos are you trying to grow an Instagram following are you trying to just track your own progress what is your benefit? Because whatever your benefit is, that is gonna outweigh any fear or apprehension you might have towards people judging you in the gym. Cause they don't know your goals. They don't know what you're trying to accomplish. I'm trying to grow my Instagram. I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. So I just need to buck up and I need to whip out my camera and I just need to film my workout and not think about anyone else because making these cute little workout videos is gonna be so much more beneficial to us than worrying about what people thought of us for maybe two minutes while we were recording. Thinking in that mindset definitely helps with my confidence. Now let's jump into the cameras and the tripod and any other little tips I have for you. We need something to record ourselves on. You can use an iPhone or you can use a camera. I use a camera when I record for my Instagram and for my YouTube channel. And the camera I use is the Canon G7X. And it has a little nice little flip screen. Just flips back to you. So after you decide whether you're using your phone or your camera to record, the next thing you're going to need is a tripod. And the tripod that I use is a Joby tripod. I bought it off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. I got you. I tried a bunch of different tripods. This one, I'm pretty sure it came with an iPhone adapter, the little like clip so you can hook your iPhone up to it too. I use it with my camera and then you just screw it in on the bottom. And then you got this fancy little thing. I really like this tripod because I don't think it's too big. It's not too bulky. I don't feel like I'm like making a movie or anything in the gym. I think it's a really sturdy tripod and I like that it has these little rubber grips on the side of these little balls. So you can really wrap it around poles and it stays really well. And the other tripods that I used didn't have like, little connector balls. So they'd slide off and my camera would fall and it was a big disaster. So basically you can just set it up on a bench, you can set it up on a box, you can set it up on the floor, any way that works best for you. 
Also, don't be afraid to adjust your camera. You know, I think we kind of get paralyzed in fear after we set it up. We're like, okay, I need to do this set really fast and then, and then turn it off. But don't be afraid to get up and adjust your camera. Make sure you're getting the angle. I like to record from one spot and then move my camera to the opposite side to try to find the best angle. That way when you go home and you look through your footage, you have backups in case you don't like a specific one. So that kind of leads me into, do I record at the beginning of my workout? Do I record at the end? Do I record during it? And for me personally, I like to incorporate my filming in my workout. That way you kind of see the actual work that I'm doing at the time. So I'll run through the first couple sets normal and the last two to three sets is when I'll whip my camera out. Another tip that you could use is you could go to the gym at times that are less busy at first. That way you feel a little more comfortable. There's not a lot of people around at that time. I like to record during less busy times anyway. I've never run into a situation where someone's asked me to like get out of the way or try to do anything like that. I try to be really respectful when I record. I go off to the side, I try to use a squat rack like on the end of the row, just any little thing so people don't feel like I'm encroaching on their space at all. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas. I hope some of my tips and tricks were a little bit helpful. Oh, I wrote this on my Instagram story last night, but I decided that we're gonna do Vlogmas every other day. That way I can devote more time and attention to each video because I wanna make the best video I can make. You know, I'm a newbie still, so I just think that the extra day will help me process my ideas a little bit more. So I hope that's okay, but we're still <laughs> we're still gonna continue with Vlogmas. We're still doing it. It's just gonna be every other day, and I hope that's okay. <laughs> if you liked it, make sure to hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe because it's vlogmas season and that's so great. I will see you all next time.